Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. So this is video two of this mini series that we're putting together here. So in this video, we're gonna be using Wireshark tool. So let's get into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be learning about a few things. Uh, about Wireshark tool, I meant to put tool, not two. Some commands, you know, how to run Wireshark, maybe some filters. Uh, we're gonna be sniffing some credentials with Wireshark and how can we perform an attack with Wireshark? I'm glad you asked. Let's get into it. So let me boot up. I have a Kali box. Let me log in. So I have my attack machine, which is my Kali box. And then I have a victim machine over here, which is my Windows 10 machine. Okay, and we're gonna be using this in a second. So let's just go right back to the website. Oh, not there. So we're gonna be going to volmweb.com. We're gonna be using this in a few. So let's go back to our victim machine now. I mean our, our, our attack machine. So first things first, we're gonna be opening up Wireshark. Okay, once Wireshark comes up, it's gonna show you, see if we can zoom this in a little bit. No, we can't zoom it in. So we're gonna be utilizing eth 0 That is my main interface that's traversing data between each machine. So now we can zoom this in a little bit. So you can see packets starting to generate already, okay? And these are some interesting information. So what we can do here, we can hit this little red button to stop the packet capture, okay? Let's stop that for a second. Let's just go over what are some of these, I wonder if we, we can't make that bigger. So the first one here is the number of the packet, the sequence number, right? Let's make this. So let's see if we can make this a little bigger. And then information, length. All right, so the first one is the number, the sequence number of the packet. The second one is the time, the source IP address, the destination IP address, the protocol that it's using, the length, and the information about that packet, all right? So this is very, very informational when we're trying to do any kinds, uh, any kind of attack or any kind of troubleshooting on your network. So we're gonna go ahead and restart this, okay? I wanna continue without saving, and I wanna go back to my Windows 10 machine. So on VolnHub, a uh, Voln Web, sorry, there's a whole bunch of little sites here that we can utilize. Security tweets, Aquaform, uh, Aqualog, REST API, etc. So we're gonna go to testasp.volnweb.com and this is the site that we're gonna look on. So we're gonna try to sniff credentials, right, off this machine. So say for example, this is a machine on your network and you're trying to sniff information, you, you know, you can do that. So this is the login page. We can put any information. I'm just gonna put Patrick, Patrick, all right? So now let's go back to our Kali box and we have a whole bunch of information here. Let's stop the packet capture. So here we have a whole bunch of information. We probably, let's see how many packets we captured. 102 packets, as you can see here. So. There's a lot, you know, that's not so many when you have, you know, you only have two machines on this network, but in, in the real world, when you have, you know, you're scanning in a production network, you're probably gonna get thousands and thousands of packets. So if we wanna query or filter out HTTP traffic to see where, that, where those credentials are now, right? So what we can do here, and in this display, apply display filter, we could put HTTP, enter, and we can see just the HTTP packets. And that's so much better and helpful to get where we need to get, right? So instead of uh, digging through all those packets, this is an awesome 
feature. So we have packet 15, 20, 21, 54, 73, and 75 here, as you can see here. So what we're going to do is we are going to, let's move this information over this way a little bit. So we have to get information about the post, okay? This post information, this came from 201, which is my my Windows 10 machine, and it went out to 3.126.110.1, which is the IP address of VulnWeb. So if we double click on here, we can ex uh, make this bigger. And this is packet 73. So we can look here for the HTTP protocol. We can see the post login page. This is the actual page. And we can expand that we can see the request method was a post. We can see the URL and everything. You can see pretty much the whole shebang, the login, everywhere that we clicked. But where is the credentials? Okay, the credentials is going to be in the HTML form URL in, encoded. So if we click here, we can see the credentials that we captured. Okay, so that is. That is pretty much it, and that's how you capture credentials on your network. And this is how you can use Wireshark. I know it's just an overview. There's a lot to do in Wireshark. I'm not gonna get into too much detail. We're just gonna go over some, because this is the module of sniffing and spoofing. So this is how you're gonna be able to sniff credentials. I was gonna use Metasploitable, but I use that a lot. So I figured let's use a real website, and I found that one, and I thought it was pretty cool. So that's it. That's how you sniff credentials with Wireshark. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, have a good one.